Good morning, Dr. Sweats speaking. Oh, hi, Mary. Yeah, oh, it is manic. It is. You're right. No, they've um, given most of the folks hazmat suits, the, yeah, the proper ones. What have we got? <laughs> Tyvek. Yeah, no, no, I, no, I absolutely agree. No question about it. <gasps> no, no, you dropped the phone as well. <laughs> no, I've just smashed the mug. No, no, Mary, it wasn't you. Don't know, don't blame yourself. It's me, I'm all over the place at the moment. Now, I'm, I'm certainly you're looking at it, but do you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. It's gonna delay me. I've really gotta go to the hospital now. I'm gonna be late otherwise, yep. Okay, well, I'll catch you later then. All right, thanks, love. Bye. Bye. Somebody, call an ambulance! Everyone, stay calm. Stay bloody calm. Let me through. Make room, people. Where's my dad? Where's my dad? Where's... You stay with me, kid. You want nice, steady breathing. Is he going to be okay? Please, allow me to do my job. Oh, oh. Is there anything we can do? Unless one of you mugs can provide me with a bag valve mask or can suit your wounds without glue, then no, you're better off giving me space. Jamie, Jamie, that's my son. Oh God, look, it's the poor boy's father. I'm coming, I'm coming, out of my way. Step aside, sir. The EMT has this covered. I'm starting to lose him. He's dying, he's all I have left. Jamie, my boy! Jamie, please! No! 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 everyone. All settled? Feel free to grab yourself a soft drink from the table, biscuits, sandwich. For any fresh faces here today, I'll introduce myself. My name is Griffin. I run these sessions, and like you guys, I also struggle with addiction. Ah, three bottles of these a day I was on. Dark times. Dark times indeed. Not to mention the lines of sugar. And you know what it's like to be on that, don't you, Bash? Ah yes, Wayne Drove, and hello to you too. Come on over, don't be shy. Oi, you can sit next to me mate, it's okay. Now, where was I? Ah yes, my problems came to an end when I discovered art therapy. By day, I manage a successful and constantly growing AA group. By night, I create and sell expressionist artwork. I don't want to alarm you, but in three seconds he's going to ask you to say something. Okay, three, two, one. But enough about me. Wayne, as you're new, do you fancy speaking to the group, letting us know why you're here? Um, I don't know. It's all right. We're a friendly bunch. We don't bite. Um, all right then. Absolutely no pressure. Um, uh, uh um. And then the bloke makes me stand there for a good 10 minutes, basically pressures me into saying I'm an alcoholic. But you are an alcoholic. Not compared to the rest of those pissheads. The meetings are a joke. Just a load of people sitting around feeling sorry for themselves. I don't belong there. Oh, Wayne, I've seen you in the mornings recently. You're a wreck. I go to take the rubbish out and what do I find? Nothing but empty spirit bottles. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm serious. I think you should keep on with these meetings. At least for a while until you get your head straight. Hi, Wayne. You alright, Dave? Ah, not bad, as it goes. Been up to much? He went to his first AA meeting today. Oh yeah, how was that? He thinks he's better than everyone there, don't you, Wayne? Babe, leave off him. Your brother lost his kid. Not to mention the whole Stella thing. He's been through a lot. No, I get it. I feel for him, I do. But look, he's been drinking himself half to death, and it's been days since he helped out on the farm. We all cope in different ways. I'm heading upstairs now, guys. Cheers again for letting me stay here, by the way. Felt strange living on my own. No worries, mate. You can stay as long as you see fit. I'll get it. Look, Blair, before he comes back, let's just leave it for tonight. There's no point us arguing. That was pretty strange. Who is it? Not sure. Just some bloke asking for Wayne. You expecting anyone? Ah, uh, 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 hiya. It, it was Wayne, right? Um, yeah. Do I know you? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I'm Bash. From the sessions today. Of course, yes. Bash, hi. You were the sugar abuser, right? Oh, ex-sugar abuser, thank you very much. Anyway, I was thinking, look, it's a nice warm evening. Seeing as you know, did you want to come out, grab a bite to eat? Oh, thanks. I'm flattered, really, but I don't know. I'll leave off. I'm not hitting on your Wayne. There's a lot of us going. Quite the regular thing. Maybe another time. All right, all right. Though if you change your mind, we'll be at the Mugscan restaurant on the side of town. I don't mean to interrupt, but did you say your group is going out tonight? Uh, you heard correctly. And there won't be any drinking involved, will there? Well, unless you count the virgin margaritas we'll be knocking back. Not a drop. In that case, Wayne, you should go with them. I don't even like Mexican food. Oh, it's quite varied there. We like to order this sharer thing. It's got nachos, uh, ribs, onion rings. Ooh, onion rings, Wayne. You like those. All right, fine. If it gets you off my back for an hour, I'll go. Then there's no time to lose. I'll let everyone know we're on our way. Give them a text. Have fun. Out of interest, if I was hitting on you, there wouldn't be any... I don't swing that way, mate. No, not a problem. No, just thought I'd test the waters. Well, that's that sorted. Good job. I see it this way. He'll have a far better time with them than he would around here, and hopefully tomorrow he'll have cleared his head. He'll do things in his own time. We'll see. So, with him at the house, fancy going upstairs? I'm feeling a little... broody. You don't have to ask me twice. I trust you are all having a nice evening. Any food for you at all? Yeah, I'll have the um, uh, fajitas de Paolo, please. The chicken fajitas, see. Sí. And for the rest of you? I thought we were having the fiesta, Shara. Muy bien. It will be with you in around 30 minutos. Gracias, thank you. So, Wayne, super nice of you to come tonight. I'm Gabby. Cheers. Bash said you lot come here quite often. Yeah, usually just the five of us. Me, Bash McGrew, Stanley Overture, his girlfriend Kim, and Titus Brown. You ever have Griffin come along? The AA guy? <laughs> no way. That dude's creepy. We did invite him once, I think. He said he was too busy sculpting or something. Heh heh, I'll bet someone 20 pins that he mentions sculpting again tomorrow. Oh, you're on the group. Make it 30. Alright, big spender. 30 it is. Do glasses come to these events? Do glasses have their own socials, innit? Haven't got an issue with them. Just the way it's always been, innit? Well, that and the fact we've never trusted Zane. Zane? Which one's he? Oh, you know. He's that dirty Magnus glass. Thinks he's a road man. What's so bad about him? Where do I start? 
Well, take this evening. We're all in a civilised restaurant. Pleasant conversations, good company. Not him. He'll be with that crew of his. Associating with criminals, no less. Breaking the law. Ain't that right, Kim? Yeah. Trust me, the man is a menace. Sounds like it. Though, probably goes without saying, but... I hope you realise not all glasses are like that. Oh, we know. It's only Bash that brings this up. Every time we go for dinner. What can I say? I don't like glasses. So me. Okay, guys, hate to leave so early. Promise it's not you, Wayne, uh, but I have to shoot. What? You're leaving? Yeah, I live with my mum. She has church choir in the morning. Don't want to keep her up. See you later, Kim. <laughs> right, now that he's gone, where's this food at? I am starving. give to the homeless so I, I've got no change tonight really no oh, oh, what are you doing you scared the life out of me now if you're here to talk to me about what I think you want to talk about it's done just time to get over it hey buddy I know martial arts keep your distance I'm not afraid to Hiya, Blair. You all right? I'm back from the Mugskin. So, how was it? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Quite a nice bunch, once you got used to them. See, I knew you'd enjoy yourself. There was one thing. A few of them came across as a bit racist. Racist? Yeah, kept making comments about glasses. They do know your wife was a glass? I haven't told them about Stella yet. Didn't find the right moment. Fair enough. Well, if hanging out with a bunch of racists is what you need to help you mourn, then I am A-OK -okay with it. Hmm. Thanks. Anyway, I'm off to bed. Oh, Wayne, if you can, I'd still really appreciate help on the farm tomorrow morning. I'm finding it really hard to make ends meet. Yeah, sure. I'll help first thing. Thanks. It. And so that's how much my latest artwork sold for. Pretty impressive, huh? Well, that concludes today's discussion. Wait for it. These meetings would be impossible without you. Wait for it. As for tomorrow, I plan to teach the 12 steps of addiction recovery, hoping to sculpt. Yes! 30 big ones! Um, thank you, Bash. I hope to sculpt them in a way that connects with your own personal battles. Until then, have a safe and sober afternoon, guys. What did I tell you? I thought he wouldn't say it. He was so tight. But I bagged a win in the last minute. Oh, congratulations, Bash. You're the man, bro. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Such an idiot. I'm so late, what was I playing at? Hmm. So you haven't seen him, no? <laughs> Am I too late? Did I miss the session? You didn't miss much. Same old, same old, you feel me? Yeah, you're not the only one not to turn up. Stanley didn't either. Ugh. It's even so. I'm still annoyed at myself. Second day and I've managed to sleep through my alarm. 
Waste of my time. Bloody waste of my time. Ah, but now that you're here, Wayne, remember what I told you last night about Zane. That's his crew over there. Horrible bunch. Oi, you waste mug. Get on my ends, bruv. Take that, you tramp. Have some of my saliva. And you see him just spit on that homeless fella. Well, that's the exact type of behaviour you'd expect from a glass, ain't it? Hey, guys. Oh, oh, you're all right, Kim. Hey, what are you saying, Kim? You been doing good, yeah? Mm, not really. Have any of you seen Stanley today? No, how come? His mother called me. He didn't come home last night. He's probably avoiding me, knowing I'd won the bet. Go and look for him in Miss Amigo's stockroom. He'll be there with all the booze. Cut it out, Bash. This might be serious. He always stays in touch, always texts me. He could be hurt. How's his mother doing? She's as worried as I am. I'm not surprised. Well, I'm going to ask Griffin too. If you see or hear anything, let me know. Jeez, wouldn't you hate to be in that relationship? Talk about clingy. Hey, to be fair, Stanley's a whole lot nicer than her last boyfriend. I bet she's just scared of losing him. Hey, if no one's doing anything after this, I might head back to my sister's. I told her I'd do something today and completely forgot. Yeah, that's fine. I got a date tonight anyway. I met him on that app, Blender. So, uh, wish me luck, boys. All right, see you later, everyone. So, go on. What's the excuse? I know, Blair, I'm sorry. I was out there from 7am pulling weeds, watering plants, feeding the tea bags. I know I shouldn't have expected anything, but where were you? I woke up late. I, it was a complete accident. Accident. Good choice of words. Because once again, I found these in your room. And I thought those meetings were doing you good. Hey, I've only been to one. One? Where were you this afternoon, then? Oh, well, you know what I said about waking up late? I thought... Jesus, forget it then. Forget I said anything. It's hopeless getting through to you. I can't see why your family put up with this. I didn't need to drink when they were around. Anyway, can we drop this for now, please? On a different subject, did you hear? A mug's gone missing today. Yeah, one of the guys from my group. His mum's quite upset. I think I might go around to have a word with her. Obviously, her son might turn up at some point, but I know she'll want to speak with someone. You know, otherwise... Otherwise she'll end up an alcoholic. Is that it? I mean, why... Go for it. Go talk to this random woman. I can see this is more for you than it is for her, so go. You're still being too harsh on him. Dave, I love you, but I have to disagree. He... Ow! Blair? Are you alright? Yeah. Strange. Do, do you think it's... I don't know. Stanley? Stanley? Hello, Mrs Overture? You're not my Stanley. No, um, I'm a friend of his. Sort of. Have you heard from him? Have you seen my little boy? No, I actually came here to see you. Make sure you're doing alright. What? I know how difficult this must be. I lost my son, Jamie, a few months back. Died near the sink over there. At first, things will seem dark and bleak. I'm sorry. Go back a moment. Are you suggesting my Stanley is dead? Because if you are, I don't want to hear it. No, not at all. Nothing like that. Well done, Wayne. Pissing off everyone today, aren't you? Is there a problem here, sir? No, no. Uh, who are you? I'm D. Si Mandy Salt Lake. This is Constable Flynn. We work for the Crime Unit Police Service. 
If you haven't heard, an official investigation is underway regarding the disappearance of Stanley Overture, which makes me wonder why you're here, harassing the mother of a said person. I was here to offer moral support, that's all. So you say. As it stands, we're treating everyone as a suspect. If you have nothing to hide, I suggest returning home. Jeez, okay, fine. Did you recognise him? He was the man whose kid got smashed up. Really? How fascinating. Keep an eye on that one, Constable. Will do. We heading back to the station? Not quite yet. It's time to give Stanley's girlfriend a visit, see what she can provide us with. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Dave? Where have you got to? I've only been gone a few minutes. We're at the hospital. What? Why? Not sure yet. Blair started having stomach pains right after you left. Do they know what's wrong with her? We have an inkling. Currently, we're just waiting on results. David, your wife wants to see you. I'll be right there. Uh, got to go now, Wayne. Uh, we'll ring you when I know a bit more. OK. Thanks for letting me know. Stay safe. Kim? Kim Seidel? It's the Caps. We've got a few questions for you about Stanley. Can we come in? She's not answering. I can see that, Constable. Kim, we're coming in. Where is she? Hmm, looks like there was a struggle. Could have been, or my other thought, this could have been staged. Staged, Chief? Not everything is black and white, Flynn. You learn that with time. But what I can promise you is this. Whatever happened to Stanley will be linked to what's happened with Kim. This case has just got a whole lot bigger. Now, the eighth step to recovery will require writing a list. This list should include the names of everyone you feel the need to apologise to. Ravana, you might want to pop your brother on there. If your gesture of remorse is pure, he will be quick to accept you back. You could make him some... Get out! And you don't know why she was admitted? Nope. Dave didn't say. In all honesty, Bash, I'm worried. I've already lost two family members this year. Not sure if I could handle a third. Oh, your sister will be alright. If it was serious, you'd have heard something by now. I suppose you're right. Could be worrying over nothing. Anyway, I didn't tell you about my date last night. He was one of those souvenir cops you get at the Twickenham Rugby. He had a split personality, I just couldn't stand the block. I certainly have a few tricks, sorry, not tricks, more ideas to tackle what may be troubling you. Right everyone, stand still and listen up. Afternoon officers, with what do we owe the pleasure? As most of you will be aware, the search for Stanley Overture is well underway. However, you may also have noticed the absence of his girlfriend, Kim. Isn't she out looking with you guys? Last night, Constable Flynn and I paid Kim a visit. Her house has been vandalised. She was nowhere to be seen. With both mugs having gone AWOL, we have no other option but to turn this hall into an interrogation room. Bruv, I don't have time for this. I'll call you in one by one to discuss your whereabouts on Monday and Tuesday evening. If we are ready to proceed, I think we'll start with you. Let's look at the facts. You arrived here just two days ago, and already members have gone missing. Not to mention we caught you outside the victim's house late yesterday evening. You expect us to believe that's merely a coincidence? Hey, I joined this group to get help, not to cause any trouble. Ah oh yes, I've heard all about your history. 
absent wife, dead kid, can't shake the liquor. This isn't looking good for you, Wayne. So, Toitus, how did you know Kim and Stanley? And how long have the two been dating? I just know them from here. And I guess they've been together like, what, three weeks? She went for him as soon as she broke up with Zane. Oh, Kim and Zane used to date. For about five years, yeah. Even I was shocked when she ended it. What was the cause of their breakup? They spent more time together drunk and sober. Nasty influence on each other. So they came here to fix that? You got it in one, and this is where she met Stanley. I've been told that Stanley owed you money. 30 pins, was it? Who told you that? Mine and Stanley's wages were friendly games of chance. Nothing more, nothing less. If you'll want to blame someone for this, there's only one person you should be looking at. And this brings me to you, Zane. Where were you on Monday evening? You weren't with the rest of the group. They're all losers. That's why. Then tell me, what's your alibi? I was jamming at home, innit? I had the crew round. Who makes up this crew of yours? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, pig? My, 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 that glass is crumbling. It's pathetic. I know a guilty man when I see one. Oi, you two, quit eavesdropping. All right, all right, keep your hand on. My apologies, sir. What were we? You were reminiscing over your time abroad? Ah, uh, yeah, that was it. I went to the bathroom when I was nine. The bathroom! Very picturesque. It's a beautiful location. Have you been anywhere else? Nah, always wanted to travel more, but I don't see myself leaving this place. Never say never, Flynn. I've worked in this field many years, seen countless people turn their lives around. There's always hope. Right, everyone. Thank you for your cooperation. We have more than enough information for today. I haven't been interviewed yet. Oh, yes, Constable. Would you take care of that? I'm heading back to conduct some more research. The rest of you are free to leave. Hey, you wanna watch Bake Off? It's the finale tonight. You sounded pretty worried in there, Zane. You're hiding anything. Hush, old gums! Come on, we can see right through you. You're not fooling anyone. It's only a matter of time before you- Don't push me, yeah! I'm two seconds from knocking you out! Ooh, knocking me out! Oh, what are you gonna do? Glass me? Bash, come on, leave it. Yeah, listen to your boyfriend. Queer. Oh, you don't think that's the hospital, do you? Sorry, let me just get this. What's the latest? We've got good and bad news. Bad news, we won't be home tonight. Okay. And the good news? Blair's pregnant. <laughs> You're joking. She's having a kid. We've been trying for a while now, and you know how quick a mug pregnancy is. Everything happens so fast. The little one is due tomorrow. That's outstanding news. So happy for you guys. Shall I come over? Hmm. Blair did want to know if you've worked on the farm today. I can't say that I... I can't say I have. In that case, you get everything done for her, and we will be home first thing tomorrow morning. Speak to you soon, mate. Ah, you finished then. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's alright, Zane went back to his crib anyway. Who was that on the phone? My stepbrother, Dave. He said... he said I'm going to be an uncle. Oh, congrats, man! Really, that's... that's terrific! You must be over the moon! Uh, sure am. Well, I got nothing on tonight. Wanna come to mine? We can celebrate! No can do. There's this farm my sister and I own. She wants me to do some work on it before the baby arrives. Come on! Just a few hours can't hurt! I might even have a small bottle of champagne somewhere. I won't tell if you don't. Ah, oh, go on then. There you go, mate. Drink up. And congrats again on becoming an uncle. To new beginnings. To new beginnings. This is what you call a small bottle? I wouldn't know. Not a big drinker. I'm more of a sugar guy. Well, I was. Oh, yeah. You were addicted to psychedelic sugar, weren't you? Those days are long gone, trust me. 
yet you still attend the meetings. You could say they're a bit like antibiotics. I can't stop going until they've run their course. If you don't mind me asking, what made you take sugar in the first place? Okay, where do I start? You know that human who lives here, how she enjoys a couple sugars in her tea every now and again? Well, on occasion, she'll add a bit extra. Three packets, instead of two. It has that strange effect on crockery, you know? And it's a shame, but some mugs get hooked on that triple taste. Craved more when she weren't even around. They had to get their fix somehow, illegally. And that's when the sugar cartels came about. Remember those? Yes, I do. Used to hear about them on the news. Okay then, well, I'll let you know. I was the brave police officer assigned the role of shutting them down. What? You were in the cups? Yeah, decade of loyal service. It took five long years, but I finally caught the head of sugar operations. Mr. Bloody Somersby. The most dangerous drug lord this town has ever seen. We didn't bust everyone on his payroll. Most of them went off the grid. But he was locked away for good, and that, oh, that is all I cared about. I'm impressed. Don't be. My team and I confiscated 30 ounces of pure cane granulated sugar. And suffice to say, curiosity got the better of me. No. You took the sugar? Just a tad. But come on, you've heard what it's like. It distances you from reality. I wound up losing my job. Yeah, if it wasn't for that bloody Summersby glass, I would have never touched the stuff. Is this the reason you hate glasses? Because you think they ruined your life? It's just not true. Wayne, I don't understand. Why are you sticking up for him? My wife was a glass. Your wife? Is she in prison? Has she been involved in any illegal activity too? Of course not. She was a saint. Then where did she go? Dunno. I woke up one morning, she was gone. Ah, so she was egocentric. Proves my point, doesn't it? Stella was a wonderful woman. I don't know where she went. Maybe I never will. But I do know that she loved me and my son with all her heart. So who knows, maybe it's time for you to give glasses a second chance. <sighs> Saved by the bell, it seems. I'll get that. They've caught him. Gabby, what... What brings you here? The guy responsible for the disappearance is... He's being nicked right now. My God. Who was it? It was Zane, the fella from our meetings. Come on! Well, well, well. Wayne, can you come here a minute? There's something I need to show you. But it may arm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand me? Well done, Mandy. Couldn't have said it better myself. Stand back, McGrew. Or risk being charged for obstruction. Why'd you do it, huh? You're a bloody menace. You should be locked away for what you did. Oh, you know nothing. Kim was my world. What draws did I have? Save it for the court. Mandy, what did Zane actually do? You want to tell them or shall I? Yes, go on. Kick him, Mandy. You can do it. Okay. After reviewing the information you provide us with, I was most suspicious of Zane. Immediately, I went to find his crew. Most of them backed up his alibi, said they'd been together when Stanley had vanished. Apart from one, Johnny Hines. Didn't take him long to spill the beans, though. Oh, this is peak. He forced us to cover for him. Look, I don't know anything. Please don't send me to jail. I'm innocent, bruv. Soon after that conversation, I receive a call from Constable Flynn. He had spoken to the man who runs your AA sessions. Griffin? Hello, everyone. He'd been stood outside Miss Amigos the night Stanley went missing, hadn't you? It's true. I know you lot don't invite me out anymore. We have differing interests, I get it. But I can't help passing by seeing you lot happy, having been the one to bring you all together. Griffin witnessed Stanley leaving. Not only that, but he also saw Zane attack him. Zane pulled out a knife, threatened to murder Stan if he didn't leave town. That's just awful! Griffin, why didn't you tell anyone this when it happened? I convinced myself it was AA confidentiality, but to be frank, I was scared. I know what choices he's made to get where he is today, 
and I knew he would hurt me if I said anything. But the cups offered me protection, and I realised it was my responsibility to tell the truth. I never trusted you, Griffin. You're a pagan. A dead man walking. Stanley decided to run after the altercation. We can only imagine that he met with Kim the next evening, faked the abduction and skipped town. Forensics found no other handle prints in their house. It's the only other story that makes sense. So let me get this straight. You're arresting Zane not for kidnapping, but for threatening behaviour. With a practical impact on the victim and having brandished a deadly weapon on the scene, he'll be looking at a minimum of four years custody. I weren't even going to hurt him. I was wasted that night. It was all just breeze. Enough of that. We'll be taking this one down to the cells. Show's over, everyone. I hope you rot in jail, you tosser. No room in this house for dirty pints. So, what did I tell you? The glass was guilty all along. Funny that. You just heard her. He didn't kidnap anyone. Ah, tomatoes, tomatoes. I said he had something to do with this. And was I right? Ah, thank you very much. Cheers for coming forward. I wish I could have done more. I consider myself partly responsible for his actions. If only I'd paid more attention. Don't beat yourself up about it. No. The least I could do is pay you back for some of the trouble he caused. What are you getting at? I've sold quite a few artworks recently. Would you be so kind as to accept a donation? What? The cups? No, not the cups. Would you accept? I'm not sure I follow. I won't lie to you. You've done some great work today, helping out. But what you were telling me earlier about wanting to travel, it got to me. I want to help you achieve your destiny. Griffin, I've only just met you. It's nothing. With that money, you could follow your dreams. Become something great. What do you say? I... I accept. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Come with me. The money's down in my art studio. Oh, look. It's Stanley's mum. Should we say hi? Might be an idea. Go on, Wayne. You know her. Hello? Mrs Overture? Did you hear? They found out what happened to your son. They've got it all wrong. Stanley hasn't left. It's not in his nature. What's that? The police. They don't know. Don't want to alarm you lot, but I think she's broken. It's probably a lot for her to handle. I'll take her home. It's not in his nature. It's not in his nature. OK, Mrs Overture. Come with me. Dave, you weren't meant to be back until tomorrow. Is everything all right? No, there were complications at the hospital. Oh, God. Being in the medical profession myself, I, I knew how serious things were as soon as they told me. Lair's amniotic sac ruptured prematurely. Oh, God. Is she okay? Is the baby okay? Bane? <laughs> Say hello to your new niece. Guys, after the night I had, I thought you died or something. Sorry, the prank wasn't my idea. Blair was just annoyed you hadn't worked on the farm. The farm? Damn. I'm sorry, I forgot again. Don't worry about it. Do you want to hold her? Yeah, more than anything.
Hello. Hi. I'm your Uncle Wayne. Sorry for being so crazy then. It's been a bit of a night for me. Probably has been for you too, I'm guessing. I've been having a tough time of late. But I promise, I'm going to change. Be the uncle you need. Always look out for you. Has she got a name yet? Well, we were thinking... If you don't mind... Of calling her... Jamie. Sorry, are you okay? We don't have to call her that. I mean, what do you think? I couldn't have picked a better name myself. What a week, eh, guys? You can say that again. Two members fled town, one of us was arrested, and I hear Wayne became an uncle. Oh, congratulations. Cheers. So much going on. Feel like we're in a Michelangelo painting. I do have something else to tell you. It's been a wonderful journey running these sessions. I have become a better version of myself just by helping you. But all good things must come to an end. What? Are you leaving or something? That is correct. My greatest artwork yet is about to reach completion, and a number of art connoisseurs have expressed an interest with the intent of featuring my piece in a series of touring exhibitions. I'll be gone by the morning. Who will be replacing you? I was thinking you could decide that amongst yourselves. Why don't we discuss it tonight? I'm sorry, Gabby? Yeah! Why don't we all go out to Miss Amigos this evening? If Griffin's leaving, we should have a proper leaving do. I'm down for that, if the rest of you are. Oh, thank you, you're just being polite, you don't have to. Nonsense! How does half seven sound? Well, it sounds perfect. I shall look forward to it. I will see you all there, guys. Gabby, why did you invite him out? You said it yourself, the bloke is a buzzkill. Bash, it's his final day here. It will make him so happy. Hey, Ravana, you coming out tonight? Um, oh, are you sure? I thought it was just a mugs thing. Course not. Everyone's welcome. We hardly speak anyway. It would be so great to see you outside of these things. Okay then, thanks. I'd like that. Can my brother Patrick come too? Huh? <gasps> oh my god. Howdy. Ah, uh, howdy. Sure, he can come too. The more the merrier. Wicked. See you tonight. Where has that man been all my life? Wow. You've changed your tune. What happened to glasses being egocentric menaces? And didn't you once call them, and I quote, a bunch of transparent crackheads? Oh, come on, why would I say that? I love glasses, me. Blair, it's me. I'm coming back to yours for a few hours. Then I'm heading out to Griffin's leaving party. Shouldn't be gone too late. But yeah, see you soon. Oh, DCI Salt Lake. You alright? Oh, hello, Wayne. I've got a slight problem. It's Flynn, my constable. I received a text from him this morning. Turns out he quit the job to go travelling. No notice, no nothing. Is this out of the blue? Not exactly. He'd mentioned it before, but that's not the point. Flynn left me as the only police officer in this entire kitchen. Funnily enough, I might be able to help you. You think you could get him back? No, my friend Bash used to be in the cups. He was sacked a few years back, but I'm sure he'd love to return. What was he sacked for? Stealing contraband. I can tell you, though, he's like a new man, in more ways than one. Wayne, if he wants the job, tell him he can have it. Really? Fantastic. We're all going for a Mexican tonight. Want to come? We can both ask him then. Sounds like a plan. Oh, 
Oh, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. You are the man of my dreams, you know that. We are destined to be together and you don't even realise. Oh, tonight will change everything, though. Okay, just a second. Hold your saucepans, I'm coming. Come on. Jesus. Oh, oh, hiya. What are you doing here? Bring glasses with you this time. Welcome. So, are you crazy signors and senoritas having a party tonight? We are indeed. But a few haven't turned up yet. Have any of you heard from them? Nope. I mean, they could be held up in traffic. Oh, I've just got a text. It's Bash. Said he won't be making it. Uh, that's a shame. I-, I was looking forward to meeting him. And goodness knows where Griffin is. Maybe we should order without them? Miss Amigo, Fiesta Shara for six, please. Bueno, a wonderful choice. You told me he was coming tonight. Well, I thought he was. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, what on earth? Oh my, what the, what is this, what is this, help, 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 someone, someone get me out of here, help. And that's why Patrick, my life. <laughs> oh, leave off you silly goose, You're, she's so dramatic sometimes, I swear. And to think you were so shy in all our sessions, oh, now it makes sense. And we are all so proud of you. Seriously, it means a lot. How's your sister doing, Wayne? Hmm? I was asking about your sister. Are you alright, though? What's up? Just thinking about Bash. He's tired, dude. Chill out. You again? You reckon something's going on? I don't know. I'm gonna pop out, check on something quickly. Can I have your onion rings? Be my guest. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, boy! There's gonna be onion ring madness in here tonight. Bash? You in here, mate? Oh no. No, no. Oh no, no, no. Bash? If you're playing a prank here, mate, I'm not sure what the motive is. Please say that wasn't your blood out there. Hello? Brush? No. Oh, God. Uh, oh, my head. Uh, my, my. Oh! Constable Flynn, are you alright? What happened to you? Bash. Bash, is that you? Yeah, yeah, it is, mate. Where are we? He knocked me out. I woke up down here. Who knocked you out? Flynn, just tell me. They took my handle, Bash. Who's they? Was it it Zayn? Did he get out of prison or something? How long have you been down here? Oh, Christ, please. Whoever you are, let me go. Just let me go, please. I haven't seen anything. I promise you, I won't tell anyone what's going on in here. Ah, you're awake. Just in time for the show. Griffin? Hey, yeah, it's Wayne. Grab everyone you can. I know where Bash is. Meet me at Griffin's Hall in five minutes. I think he's in serious trouble. Be careful, all right? None of us are safe. Who was that? It was Wayne. He wants us to meet him at the AA building. No, me, Nick. Did he say why? No, 
He just said there could be trouble. Yeah, he did seem pretty on edge, but... Hey, can you not smell burning? I must say, your fear is bringing the most wonderful colour out in you. You were the only mug in our group who had experienced what I had. The marvels of a sugar high. <laughs> the awakening this drug brings. It's a pity you gave it up. The potential we could have had as a creative duo. Why are you doing this? You've been teaching us how to deal with our addictions. Did you just what? Never give it up? Why would I give it up? You were all so desperate to kick your habits, return to your platitudinous lives. As you can see, I learnt to utilise my addictions, use them to achieve my highest potential. But what you taught us? Art therapy, the 12 steps. You never mentioned this. Fool! I didn't start that group to help anyone. No, no. I opened that group as a way to choose my next materials. Do you want to see? See what? My masterpiece, my magnum opus. I'll soon be adding the finishing touches, but it won't hurt to show you the first draft. What, what is he getting? Flynn, where, where's he got? Flynn, what, what is he getting? Kim? Stanley? Ash, mate, are you in here? Bash? Bash? You murdered them! You murdered them! Why? They are part of something greater now. This is sick, honestly, mate. This is sick. You can't deny, Stanley was the perfect shade of white. And that flowery patted on Kim. Oh, the canvas was screaming her name. You'll be done for this. Someone will find you. You'll be exposed. I don't think I will. See, when Zane attacked Stanley, he gave me a perfect excuse to start my work. And when he was fully blamed for their disappearance, I couldn't have been more fortunate. You could have stopped there. You didn't have to take us. You made your peace. Perhaps. Though tell me this. If Da Vinci had quit after the Last Supper, would we have been blessed with the Mona Lisa? Who knows what fine work I have left inside me? Who knows what I could fashion out of you. Uh, ah, ah, uh, 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 that sounds like Flynn. Hold on, mate. I'm coming. Griffin, stop what you're doing. I haven't the foggiest idea what's going on, but I've called the police and they're on their way. Who? DCI Mandy Salt Lake? Yes. <laughs> oh, neither of you are on the sugar right now, and it shows. You lack hindsight. You lack foresight. You lack Mason. Here we go. Who's Mason? Was he the fella at my door? Ah, I'm glad you asked, Bash. Before you took down the sugar cartel, Mason was head of distribution. He provided me, and this entire kitchen, with a grand service. After their operations crumbled and you locked the kingpin away, my friend Mason started his own business. He continued to sell me what I needed for your inspiration, along with doing me a few extra favours. Ah, Mason. I was telling these mugs how you've been keeping tabs on them, disguising yourself as the homeless. Have you taken care of the others? The fire rages on. Excellent. What is he talking about? I knew you would come searching for your friend. I knew you would try and put a stop to my art. So that's why Mason 
set your favourite restaurant alight. No, Miss Amigos. Oh my God! Everyone, there's already going to be fire over there. It's burning down the whole restaurant. There were still mugs inside. What the hell are we gonna do? Oh no! Not another disaster. How did this happen? My brother is in there. You need to keep your distance, madam. But he's gonna die. It's too dangerous. You could get killed in there. He's right, Blair. There's nothing we can do. An art connoisseur should be here shortly. He will be purchasing a mugs game and taking me to meet other individuals who enjoy the finer things. Who in their right mind would ever buy this? There's a market out there for everything. Griffin, I don't know the type of person you were before drugs took over your life, but it can't have been like this. Take it from me, anyone can change. Honestly, it's never too late to give up. We can help you out. Mason, hang Wayne next to his friend. I'm done with their incessant whining. Get away from me. You will become something greater. Get away from me. Just get out of here, Wayne, quick. Get out of here. I can't. He's blocking the exit. Help. Help. Help someone. Help. Help. Somebody help. What in God's name is going on? Dr. Spitzer speaking. Oh, it's you. Oh, no, I'm glad it's you, actually. I've just got back from the hospital, so I'm a bit breathless. I've come in, don't know what's happening. There's a fire in the kitchen. I've looked, I thought we'd had a break in, but I don't think so, no. I don't think anything's been taken, no. Under the table, you know the kitchen table is under there. I've got all mugs, it's mayhem. I can't explain it to you. I'll send you pictures. Okay, catch you later then, yep, bye. What's going on? Get down from there! You have to stop him. He did this. The disappearances, the fire, it was all Griffin. He has a drug dealer working for him. There are people murdered in his studio. Tell Wayne to slow down. Is what he's saying true? Of course it's not true. What are you trying to say, Wayne? Right now, Bash is being held captive underneath the hall. Don't believe me? Go and see for yourselves. This is absolutely nuts, yo! Sorry, everyone. I can see you're dealing with the aftermath of a terrible fire. No one wants to be putting up with the wild theories of a drunkard right now. You're back on the drink? No, guys. Listen, I've seen it myself. He took Stanley, Kim, even that constable Flynn. Ridiculous. Those two lovebirds left town. As for the constable, he went travelling. How do you know that? Mandy, Titus, Gabby. You all survived. How? Miss Amigo let us hide in the stockroom. Nice and cosy back there. Plenty of onion rings too. <laughs> I was the only person that Flynn texted about leaving. Either you have a sixth sense or something isn't quite right. That's what I've been saying. Griffin cut Flynn's handle off, 
got into his phone and sent you that message. Can we please refrain from being so insensitive now? This was all very fun, but it's time for you to- Forensics couldn't find any prints in Kim's house. The more I think about it, you're the only mug with brushes that could have swept away the evidence. Slander. I would never- Hello! Sorry to intrude, but I'm looking for a mug named Griffin. Not sure if you can help me out? Hello? Ah, you're Griffin. Yes, my name is Horatio Flax. We spoke on the phone earlier. I've come here from the dining room to purchase a mug's game. You know, it's that art piece you made with that couple you murdered. <coughs> well, I think that proves it, right? What? Did I say something wrong? Ah! Ah! Let go of her! Oi! Stop! Get back here! <laughs> Let my niece go. What? So you can come and arrest me? There's nothing left for you here. I have more left for me than you do, you washed-up, widowed alcoholic. My work will be hailed for generations. I will go down in history. We can get you help. Help? That's rich coming from you, isn't it? What help could you ever give, Wayne? I know you better than anyone. You couldn't help your wife, could you? Couldn't protect your son. You're a joke if you think you could help me. Ah! Ah! My arm! What is your problem, Wayne? Gah, who rips a guy's bloody arm off? <sighs> this is your last <sighs> warning, Griffin. <sighs> I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, shut up, you don't scare me. I'm an artist, I can reattach that with ease. Same couldn't be said about your son's pieces, though, could it? Yes, yes, if it wasn't for him, wasn't for your boy, I wouldn't be where I am today. My son? Why? That push. I gave him was my true inspiration. Whilst the human was busy on her mobile device, the stage was set for my godlike act. As he fell through the air, I could sense transformation taking place within my very soul. The size of his bloodied fragments were what began my legacy. Yes, his exquisite death will be remembered for starting a renaissance. Oh, oh, oh. Was that the dead child piece I purchased last month? Oh, Dios mio! Yes, yes, very swank. I'm glad you enjoyed. See, there is an esoteric beauty in tragedy that none of you understand yet. You... killed my son! It just took a small child's sacrifice and a line of sugar for me to realize. You killed my son! Hold on. Stop! I'm kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill no. you. Ah! No! I am gonna miss that blog. He was one of the nicest guys I ever met. Both of them will be sorely missed. Hi guys. Oh, you are right, Wayne? I was just with Stanley's mum. How's she holding up? Not great. Most likely conflicted. Sad for her son, but relieved to know the truth. Is that the same for you, yeah? I suppose. I mean, I'm moving back into my old house today. Bash, mind if I have a word? You okay? Ah, I've been worse. All in all, things worked out alright. 
Did you get a chance to chat with Mandy about returning to the Force? I did, actually. And? Well, with Constable Flynn out of action, she still needs my help. And you agreed to it? What with that poo mug getting away? She needs me now more than ever. I know now how these criminals work. If he's starting up a new operation, it's my duty to end it. How noble. I think you've made the right choice. Any news on Griffin? Yeah, actually. He's out of the infirmary now, like you. They're taking a load of mug shots of him, and I think he's got a life sentence, as expected. Good news, though. I convinced the state to take his creepy art money, put it into rebuilding the mugs again. We should have a new place soon. Oh, wow. Thanks. Bash? You coming home? Yeah, I'll just be a second, Patrick. No worries, babe. Do my eyes deceive me? Is Bash McGrew, racist extraordinaire, dating a glass? What can I say? We just clinked. I'm happy for you. Right, don't let me keep you waiting. Thanks. I'll see you later, Wayne. You take care. Today's the day. Sure you don't want to stay with us any longer? Dave. What? You have to admit, babysitters aren't cheap these days. I'll look after Jamie any time you want. That's good to hear, but one step at a time, bro. Sorry. No, it's good to see you passionate again. Your son would have been proud. Well, no time like the present. That's all Ah, oh, oh. oh, jeez, look at this. Everything all right up there? <laughs> yeah. Didn't realise how long I'd been away. The post has just been piling up. There's stuff here for me, Stella, even for Jamie. Never realised how popular we were. Wait. It couldn't be. What is it? What have you found? Leave the man alone. He's opening his post for Christ's sake. Dearest Wayne, I hope this letter finds you well. By now I can only imagine how worried you must be. You will have presumed me permanently missing or dead. Rest assured this is not the case. I would tell you my location in the house where I am being held captive. But I am afraid you would come searching for me. That would be far too treacherous a journey, and you have our son to look after. Jesus, look, he's crying. I'm going up. I believe that I'm safe for now, but I want you to know that I love you both, and I always will. Be brave for our boy. Maybe one day we will meet again. Love, Stella. What's up? She's alive. Who is? Stella, she's alive. What? I don't understand. Blair, I don't have time to explain. I need to go away for a while. You're scaring me. What's happening? This is so sudden. Whoa, what's got into you? Wayne, come back. Yeah, where are you going? I'm going to save my wife!
Firstly, I don't judge a whole race on one person's actions. Would be like saying that every egg whisk beats their kids. Oi, what did you say, mate? Uh, nothing, nothing. All right, let's keep it that way. Carry on, geese. Well, that's that then. See you all tomorrow, guys. And make sure not to get mugged on the way home.